welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am not working on Elizabeth right now. I had to put her on hold for a little bit because I got to get this custom done for a wedding that I'm attending in June and I don't have very much time left. So that's why I decided to switch it up. I will get back to Elizabeth, but I got to finish this one and then I got to finish that little section of my other custom, the one with the popping drills that drove me crazy. I got to finish that one too. So I got to get these projects out and then I'll go back to Elizabeth. I think I'm like almost halfway through Elizabeth. I'm starting to get up to like her chest area and we're all like the dark colors start to come in. So it shouldn't take me too long to whip that out after, but it will be nice to go back to her after I finish these ones. So yeah, so today's whip and chat is just gonna be about not a whole heck of a lot. Um, I don't really have a topic to talk about. Just thought I'd throw in a Friday chat. Um, sorry about the noise in the background, but my neighbor, his father-in-law decided he was gonna cut the grass when I start to film. So, yeah. Because during the day is the only time I can really get some filming out but there's not a lot of traffic in this house. So I try to do it when Alyssa's at school and my sister's not around because she's working. So I try to do it on my days off that nobody's here to interrupt me. But yeah. But he decided he wanted to cut the grass. So yeah, yesterday I was thinking, oh, my sister's boyfriend should cut the grass today because it was my sister's day off yesterday. And then it downpoured. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd see it downpoured. And I thought, oh, well, there's no chances of the grass getting cut today. But it did warm up like to 26 degrees Celsius because I live in Canada and that's how we roll. And um, yeah, so it warmed up pretty good. It got to the point where my house was so hot, I had to turn on the central air. I couldn't, I couldn't hold out anymore. But then last night, because it's still like not hot at nighttime, it got pretty cold in here because I had turned the central air on. It cooled down the house. And then at nighttime, it got even colder. So yeah. But it's all good. We survived. We made it through. I'm not turning the heat back on. I refuse to. It's bad enough I have to pay for gas for my stove. I don't need to pay for it. Right now. It's May already. So yeah. You know that the good weather is coming. Because today I saw my first mosquito. On the windshield of my car and I killed it with my windshield wiper. Yep. When I went to Timmy's this morning, realized I didn't have my vape and I didn't have my phone with me. And there was a huge lineup at Timmy's to get my coffee. Because I decided, why not? I'll get a coffee today instead of making one at home. So yeah, here's my Timmy's. Timmy's Red Cup for camp day, which I support because my daughter got to go to the Tim Hortons camp when she was in grade, I think seven. She got to go to Alberta, Canada, which was an awesome experience and she loved it. And then the second year she got to go to the leadership program but that was just in Ontario, but she had a blast at that one too. Because the Tim Hortons can't pick kids from schools that they think wouldn't be able to attend camps due to financial reasons. And because, you know, I'm a single mom, I guess the school thought that Sarah should be a candidate for it. So 
he offered it to her and she accepted and she went. Yeah, so she had a blast. It was a good experience for her. First time she got to ride on the airplane. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So today I want to go to the dollar store to get more labels for my containers. Oh, and an update on my containers. My cousin got me the containers from Harbor Freight. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, the story with that is she went and I sent her a picture of what they look like. And uh, she went and she didn't even look because she went in between, like she's a, pe well, I don't know what they call them down in the States, but she's like a nurse. But she goes, she does house visits. So in between house visits, she ran in to Harbor Freight for me and she grabbed the first one that she saw with containers and then she brings it back and it shows me on FaceTime. I'm like, no, no, that's not the right one. Like, look at the picture. Cause she got one that had like, it was 24 like slots, but it was the ones that you can move the slots around and they don't have a lid. It just has the big lid on top. So yeah, I didn't want that. So she uh, went back and exchanged them and got me the proper ones, which were turned out to be a little bit cheaper, which is awesome because heck, nowhere in Canada can I find containers like that for $10 for two. I got two of them. I got her to pick me up too. If I like them, then she's coming up in August. I'm going to get her to get me more. But first I want to see if I like them. And then if I do... I'll get her to bring me up more in August. Cause like, that's a good deal. Can't go wrong. Like I have the lockables and they cost me, well, they're $31 in Canada at Michael's, but if you have a, like a 50% off coupon, you can get them for cheaper. And like, and that's the only way I would buy anything at Michael's is with the coupon. So, and like to go to a Michaels, I have to go to the town over. So that's a little bit of a pain. So yeah, and then I went to, oh, in my town, I'll start. In my town, now there is a diamond pinning store. Just opened up, it's called the Pink Raspberry Diamond Painting. Um, she makes her own diamond paintings and they, it all comes from China basically, but they assemble them in Canada. So she gets the canvases and she kits up the diamonds herself. So this is a custom from her. Customs still take the same amount of time as they do from China, but you just don't have to go through the middleman. It goes to her. She gets the shipping a little bit quicker, but it's still roughly around two weeks before you will get your custom from her but it's 30 bucks for 46, 46 by 56 is her standard size. You can get bigger, but she's gonna charge you more, but it's $30 standard for the custom. But I bought these from her and she charged $10 each. Okay, $10 each for this that I know you can get on Wish and AliExpress for like three or four bucks because I know because I bought some, but you wait forever for them. So I bought my daughter's, well, I bought some from Wish and it took four months to come in. Granted, I paid like hardly anything for them, but it took so long to come in. And uh, I ended up giving them to my daughter for Christmas because I had two sets that she bought me for my birthday the year that I started diamond painting. Well, those ones I gave to my cousin because she started diamond painting and I kitted it up for her, like to teach her how to do it. So I kitted up her first kit and she has them. So I didn't have any extra containers to start this one because my, my lockables are for Elizabeth. So I thought, oh, I'll just break down and buy these. So it cost me 20 bucks for two. Yeah. So, and then what makes me even more mad is they're not, these two won't close. 
And there's another one that's like not as good as the ones I got from Amazon, that's for sure. Because my daughter got me the, my first set from Amazon. And I think she paid like $14.99 for two on Amazon. And then plus shipping on top, it probably came out to about 20 bucks what I paid for these ones. So yeah, that's a little note about these containers, which are standard. A lot of people use these ones. I kind of like them and I kind of don't because these pop open very easily. You have to be super careful. Like when I leave somewhere, I always close the main one. That way I know it's not going to fall out. Yeah, see, I got gems over here because something's spilling because these containers aren't that good. So today when I go there, I'm going to show her what's going on with my containers. So she opened up the store and you can go there and you can diamond paint there which I'm gonna do later on with my friend Mo. We're gonna spend the afternoon and we're just gonna diamond paint. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna show her what happened with those. Yeah, so today I'm going there for the afternoon to put diamond paint with my best friend Mo. And then we both are going back on Sunday for the workshop, which she paid $35 Canadian. And that gets you a diamond painting, a drink, and munchies. And we all just go there and door prizes. She does door prizes too. Everybody wins a prize. So everybody that shows up, you're guaranteed to leave with some kind of prize. And sometimes the prizes are not diamond painting related. They're just random gifts that she has. And her store too, it doesn't have like she has other stuff too that is really cool. She has this lamp. It's like a little kid's, it looks like a teddy bear and it's got a heart in the middle and it lights up. It's kind of like a table lamp maybe. And you can diamond, like it has the spots in the front to like diamond paint on the front of it. It's really cool. I think I want to get that for my niece, my niece's daughter for Christmas. So yeah. And then my niece, well, yeah, my niece wants me to order a custom of her Opa, and I got to do that too. And she says that I don't talk about her enough in my whip and chats because she watches me faithfully. And then, like, I got her into diamond painting when I first started, and she did, uh, what's his name, Chase from Pop, Pop Patrol or Pet Patrol, or I don't know what the heck they're called. Anyway, she did one of them for her son because he loves them. And then she did a custom for her in-laws of their house, which I think is kind of nice because now they sold that house. So now they always have a picture of their house when they go into their new house. So I thought that was kind of neat. So I want to get I want to get that light for my little Chloe because I love her. I love her so much. I can't wait to be a grandma. I know I get to be a pretend grandma to her kids, but I want to be a real grandma. But then you, when you say grandma, you feel old, right? I kind of feel old. <laughs> I'm only 40, 45, but... I feel old. I had my daughter at 19, so I don't know. I don't know anymore. I do feel, when I leave work, I know I feel old. Yeah, so I'm so happy I'm done with work. I only had to work Wednesday, Thursday this week, 12 hour shifts. The first day was fine. Everything was okay. I work with this guy on my line and we fight like cats and dogs and everybody says we fight like a married couple. It's not really fighting. We just bicker with each other and sometimes joke around or whatever, but sometimes it really drives me nuts. But yeah. So we worked, I usually work on line seven, which is the bulk line. 
And then when I went out for break, one of my coworkers informed me that I'm probably gonna have to work on six tomorrow. And there's just a reason why I don't like six. It has nothing to do with the line. And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, if there's any day you wanna call in sick, tomorrow's the day. And I'm like, oh, I can't afford. I can't afford to call in sick. Plus they've been cracking down on attendance. And I don't want to be one of those people that got in trouble for their attendance. So I'm like, no, 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 Liz, you know, it's going to be a good paycheck because you have the extra day because you got paid for the Monday of the holiday. So, you know, you have to truck it through. And then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go to line seven <laughs> and like just start working there. And if she moves me, she moves me. That's what I told the girl in the morning right before we started. And then sure enough, I think I was on line seven, seven in the middle, closing the boxes for like, I don't know, not even five minutes. And she comes over, she's like, Liz, can you work on six today? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> yes. I didn't complain to her because she is my right hand and I do not want to complain to her. So I went over and actually, the certain thing wasn't too bad. It was, it was tolerable. It wasn't that bad. So um, the bags weren't closing properly for the first half of the day. Kept on cleaning up peas off the floor. Oh, cleaning up vegetables off the floor is the worst the worst you don't even understand and we don't throw away the stuff that goes on the floor don't worry we don't feed anybody <laughs> the stuff on the floor we actually give it to the farmers and they feed their livestock with it so if anybody wanted to know that's what we do with our waste and we make a little bit of money selling it to the farmers and I'm telling you we have a lot of stuff that falls on the floor that go to the farmers. So yeah, that was, and then on Thursday, it was kind of a little bit warm on line six. So I had to take off my winter jacket for once. I was starting to feel overheated. That usually doesn't happen in there. Must have shown that I was actually working hard on line six. <laughs> then I do on seven. On seven, I just close boxes and and go to the table. And then on six, I gotta actually physically watch the line and load up the boxes for the box machine. So it's a little bit more walking around and you're more like physical, like you're not just standing in one spot to get cold, you're actually moving. So I think that's why you don't get as cold on six as you do seven. But the table on six is way colder because it's right by the warehouse freezer doors. And when they open it to bring product in and out, and sometimes they don't close that darn door, it gets pretty chilly. So yeah, that's my scoop of work this week. You know, we joke around with each other. Like you have to like joke around and do stuff like to make the day go by faster. Like we're there for 12 hours and we're all stuck in that room together. So you got to make it somewhat pleasant. And then when you got people that aren't pleasant, it really puts a damper. But like my feelings is not, I'm not the only one that feels that way it goes pretty much across the board so yeah but like i said it wasn't too bad thank gosh because i probably would have said i'm going back to seven i don't even care we've been so short-handed on that shift it's been ridiculous but yeah that's my story about work this week and my diamond painting. I wanted to go to the dollar store 
to get more labels for these containers. I don't like these circle ones because they kind of have like a gloss to them and when I write with the pen sometimes they scratch off. Um, I'm too lazy to photocopy and, and then put them on or even by the label maker to make them. I'm a bit like, I don't know. I can't be bothered. And plus my computer isn't hooked up to the printer right now. I guess I could hook up Alyssa's laptop to the printer, but I just can't be bothered with doing those labels. Maybe someday I'll surprise you guys and do it. I gotta find that label maker. I don't know just if Michael's even has one. If anybody knows if Michael's has one, let me know. I do have the ones coming. Well, I know that my Mama Knows Best has that little strip that's coming in with the new kits, but I think, I think I watched a video this morning and someone told me that the, the other new kits don't have those in it. I don't know if I'm wrong or if I'm right, but yeah. And I'm sorry that this not doing very many different colors because it's like all dark because it's like his jacket. It's all darky dark colors. A lot of 310 in this picture. But I seen her, she was on nights, the girl that I'm going to the wedding so she came in when my shift ended and she's like stay i'm like ah oh, no i ain't working 24 hours straight i don't even think that's even legal but she doesn't like nights but she's back on days with me on monday yay so she gets a break from the night shift. I'm so happy I don't have to work nights anymore. You don't even understand. Ugh, I hated it. I don't know if I've told you guys that I'm a type 2 diabetic. So I'm on three types of medication right now for my diabetes. I don't take insulin, I'm not type one, but I take three different kinds. And when I was working the night shift, it was like, I'm gonna get 154, which is tea. I would get like, I couldn't control my sugar levels when I worked on nights because of eating at different times. So I was always sick and then I got pulled in saying, um, I noticed that you've been sick a lot. This was a while ago. This was like a year ago. And I'm like, and they're like, well, and I told, and I explained why. And they said, well, if you get a doctor's note, we'll accommodate you on straight days. So that's what I did. I got a doctor's note and they accommodated me on straight days. And I've been happy there ever since. But every year you have to get another letter from the doctor, which I just had to do. Well, we all had to do it. Cause I'm not the only one on straight days. There's like one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven of us. Seven of us that are on straight days. So I'm not just like the only one in there on straight days. A lot of the other people though, I've been there for a lot of years and I've only been there for three years. I'm probably like the lowest seniority on days. That even matters, I don't even know. 
but the other people have been there a lot longer than I have. And there he goes, cutting something again out there. My house has got the thinnest walls I have ever seen in my life. Like, you can literally, they have a conversation out there, I could probably hear it. They probably hear me talking to myself in here, probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. But I don't care. Yeah. So there's this one painting that I really want to get from the Pink Raspberry. It's of a little girl. It's kind of like cartoonish. So I kind of like those kind of pictures. It's like a cartoon and it's a little girl and she's in like a field and it's got like, oh, I don't even know what they're called. But you know when the dandelion turns into those fluffy things that blow? They have them in the picture. I really want that picture. So I think I'm going to get that one with my workshop on Sunday. But, um... I think I'm gonna have to pay a little bit more. I already paid for my workshop, but I'm probably gonna have to pay a little bit more because she charges, I don't know. What do you guys think if this is fair or not for? She charges, I'll tell you her prices. How about that? So a 30 by 30, she charges $15. For a 30 by 40, which is not that much bigger, she's charging $20. And then a 40 by 50, she's charging $25. So it would be interesting to know what you guys think down in the comments below. It's not like when we order from China, you pay shipping, right? But in the same fact too, is if you live in Ontario, pretty close to like, like if you lived in London, Ontario, even if you lived in Kitchener or Cambridge or any place like that, like you could take a day trip down here, even Toronto, but like Toronto, you can come down for the day, but there's not much to see around here unless you go to London, right? But to get a painting, come in, pick out a painting and walk out, like that's pretty awesome. She has quite a good selection. I'm gonna see if I can videotape the shop and I'll put it on my channel so you guys can all see her shop when I go there today. I'll ask her permission, of course and then see if I can put it, see if she says yes. And then I'll let you guys all see what I'm talking about. But those are her prices, which I don't think they're that bad. Like every moment, every moment is more expensive. So, and is this comparable to every moment? Right now, all I've done is, this, is the rounds. I think it feels the same as an every moment canvas. So, I don't think it's any less or any better. The only thing that these canvases have, they have the clear, but you know me, I don't like clear. I have to put the parchment paper on, but that's just my own preference. That's what I like to do. I was watching Stephanie and she had, she got in the mail 
these little clips and they have like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and they have like their magnets that you can put on your paper to hold it back. Oh my God, I thought they were so cute. I gotta check out where she got that from. But same thing, I don't know if whoever she bought them from will, will uh, ship to Canada. Sometimes it sucks living not in the US. It seems like the US gets everything and we don't get nothing. That's how I feel sometimes. But I'm sure other countries too think that way too. And like a lot of good companies are in the US and then we have to pay the international shipping which sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it's super expensive. It just depends. And I don't really understand how they justify the prices. I don't know. But I'm even thinking about getting my cousin ordering from Diamond Art Club and sending it to my cousin's house. And when she comes up in August to bring me them, but we'll have to see. I have to save up because I really want Mary. Did you know? I really want that one like super, super bad. I don't think that belongs anywhere. And I'm sure there's other ones on there. I haven't really gone to look because just face it, if I look, I want, I'll want to buy and I can't physically afford to buy from them right now. I have, unfortunately, other responsibilities in life, like bills and feeding my kid <laughs> before I had Ken purchase more Diamond Art Club. And like I said, it's not the, like, the prices for a Diamond Art Club, I think, are reasonable for their quality. It's not that that I'm complaining about. I'm complaining of the fact of the international shipping charge, which is a lot. But the thing that kills me is our exchange rate right now because our dollar sucks in price. So, which is not anybody's fault. But like our dollar, like I'm not even sure how much I'd have to um, pay. I'll have to ask Siri how much it is to convert for the Herbert Freight that I have to pay my sister for. Because my sister gave her the money, so I'm going to have to give my sister the money in Canadian because obviously because I'm not going to the bank to get American money for her when she's probably just going to exchange all her Canadian money back in her American money back into Canadian money I would assume yeah so there you should be back in Canada by Sunday they're aiming for. They're leaving Saturday and they're hoping to be back Sunday. They're gonna try to drive as much as they can on Saturday. So they'll be back on Sunday. So we'll see. My cousin left where they're staying this morning to go to work and she's not coming back. So this was their last little visit with her. I don't know if my cousin Mary is coming down for the afternoon or not, but she might be. But so they're leaving in the morning and then her sister, my friend, my sister's friend, sisters went too, but they, they took a plane down. So, but their plane don't leave until like 
nine o'clock at night, I guess. So I'm not sure what they're gonna do without a hotel room till nine o'clock at night. But I guess they're in Florida. I'm sure they'll find somewhere to go. I've only been to Florida once. And that was when I was in grade 11. I went on a trip with my sister. Oh my gosh. So we get to Florida. <laughs> we went on a bus trip. So we went on this bus trip and uh, I forget, like it was like some, some Portuguese bus trip to Florida and we went and it, you paid it paid for the trip there in the hotel room. I think it even paid for um, your entrance to Disney World. I'm not 100% sure. It paid for this, because um, we went at Christmas time. It was actually a pretty warm Christmas that year. I was lucky. And uh, we, it came with like a cruise for Christmas Eve, for New Year's Eve, because we went after Christmas. It was just shortly after Christmas. Maybe we left on like the 20, I don't even know, like the 27th or something of December. We were there for New Year's. Anyway, it was like this bus trip. So anyways, we went down. We get to the hotel and I'm so excited because we're in Florida and there's palm trees because I had never seen palm trees before until I got to Florida. And uh, <laughs> the patio doors were right there and they didn't have like any curtains or anything. They were pulled back and don't I just go to go walk on the balcony thinking, I don't know why I thought the door was open and don't I smack right into the, to the window. And all you see is my nose print on the window. And then my sister's like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm like, I don't know. They're so clean. I thought, I thought it was like open. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, smacked my nose. And then all you could see was my big nose print on the, the maid's probably wondering what the heck <laughs> when they came to clean the rooms the next day. Yeah. But I ended up getting an ear infection that trip because I swam in the ocean and it was pretty cold still in the ocean. And I think I did something and I got an ear infection. I had to go to like Walgreens or whatever you guys call your drugstores and get some drops. And then I just ended up sticking with a pole for the rest of the, the trip. I didn't go back in the ocean. Other than look for seashells, I went to the beach. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Went to Disney World. Probably would have appreciated it more if I went when I was little. Like my daughter, Alyssa, my youngest, my two oldest have not been to Florida, but my youngest has been to Florida a lot with my sister Helen. And she's been to Disney World, I don't know how many times. And she was just little, like six and seven. I don't even remember when was the last year she went. But she hasn't gone with them in a while because now she's in high school, you know, and she's more grown up. Like, like when I worked the weekend shift, my sister Helen would always take her. And she was like my pretty much the babysitter on the weekends. And she would take Alyssa camping and take Alyssa everywhere. But now that Alyssa's a bit older, she tends to not want to go there now. And she's old, like she's 15 now, like she stays home and now I'm on straight days, so it don't really matter. You don't have to worry about her being here at night by herself. But after school, she comes home. And well, now Yvette will be here, so it'll be okay. Not that she, well, she's kind of like 
I don't think she likes the fact that he likes moving in here, but I don't really have a choice. She owns this house too. I don't think Yvette will be here that much anyway. I think she'll be at her boyfriend's more than here. That's what I think. She's like, oh, I live here now. And I'm like, oh, really? Because I haven't seen you stay here one night <laughs> since you moved in. So just your stuff lives here. Your stuff lives here. And Alexa. Hey, Alexa. Hi there. Yeah. And Alexa. I think it's kind of cool, though, because you can turn the lights on and off. But, yeah. I'm just jibber-jabbing about nothing. Nothing at all. I don't lead a very exciting life. And I'm probably talking too low. I tend to do that. I'm sorry. I'm almost done the D's here. Yeah. So, I'm excited to have the weekend off. And I get to diamond paint. I want to try to get halfway done this by the end of this weekend. Do you think it's possible? I'm going to try my hardest because I just want to get them done. That's why I got it in round because I knew I could knock out a round quicker than I could knock out a square. Plus, I don't know what her squares are because she has ordered all of the rounds in bulk to assemble them here. But if you want a square, it's still coming from China. This is not her original company of the last custom. So I don't know what their squares are like. I do have a Walking Dead. But you know what? She got me another Walking Dead and I don't know if she got them in round or square. But the Walking Dead that I have here is square. But... She got me the wrong one. Like I sent her a few pictures of what I wanted of The Walking Dead. I couldn't make up my mind. Like I, I sent her a few pictures and uh, then I told her which one I actually wanted out of all of them. Then she just ended up ordering all three of the pictures I sent her. So now if you like The Walking Dead, she's got a lot of Walking Dead because of me so the one it's a good it's a good one too it has like don't ask me names of people from the walking dead maggie is it maggie the, the, the little girl now that she's like grown up she's like i don't know how old she is like 10 now or something i don't even know how old she is on it right now but it has her in the middle and then it has all the other characters but it's all like the good characters but i wanted the one with the villains in it and the new villains in the last season so i sent that one but that's not the one she got me in a 50 by 80. so i told her and then she said oh now it's in and i'm like well and she wants 45 dollars for this 50 by 80. and i'm like well, can I switch out my other 50 by 80? Because I really don't want to do two Walking Dead because it's actually for my daughter's boyfriend for Christmas. I'm like, I don't want Walking Dead. Like, I do like the show and everything, but I don't think I want it hanging up on my house. But the kids do. Like, I may, I did one. I don't... I don't know if I put it on that video. I don't think I did. I don't think I put it on the video of everything I've completed. But yeah, I did one for them last year for Christmas of The Walking Dead and they really loved it because in their living room, their main 
behind their couch, they have like the comic books. They ripped out the pages and they made like a collage and they have it on, on like, I don't know, probably, what do you call it? Canvas board. And then they have the other, the diamond painting that I did of the walking dead on the one side. So now they want another painting of the walking dead for the other side. So that's why I'm doing this one for them. And I thought it'd be cool if it included like Negan and all of the bad people too, not just the good people. So I hope it turns out cause I only got a 50 by 80, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like when I start that one, which I probably will be working on on my channel because it's a big piece. But I think I want to kick out some little pieces before I start those big projects. I really want to do that little girl with the big eyes that I have on one of my videos. I really want to start her. I did a little bit for the tutorial on how to diamond paint, but I haven't really started her yet. So basically now this is all black, 310 that's left here to do. Yeah, 310 life all the way with this picture. Well, well, I don't have any 310 in Elizabeth, but I have 3371, which looks like 10 to me. I don't know. I don't think I'm colorblind, but it looks like black to me. And, uh, where did this be? I, uh, there's a lot of that one in Elizabeth. Like, a lot. But I kind of like it. Because I feel like I'm coloring with Elizabeth because... Everything's like, like, I love, I love Manny Manzano's like paintings because she does everything. She outlines everything in black. And it's kind of like when I was a kid, when I used to, I used to love art when I was like in school. And there was a point where I, everything I colored, I would trace it in black first and then color in the picture. And that's what it reminds me of. I like coloring. My sister was really into coloring and she has all her coloring books here. Maybe I'll do a coloring video. I'll have to ask her if I can use her stuff. But I don't think she'll care. And I want to do a video with her one day when she's on afternoons, when she actually moves in here. She hasn't technically moved in yet. She still has possession of the other house until June 13th and then she's buying the other house but I don't know what's going she won't tell me her business I don't know how much she's renting it to my niece for or when my niece is moving into it I don't know any of those details all I know is about this house because this is the one I own with her I'll be just happy when I don't have to pay a mortgage payment anymore. That will be nice. But I still have to pay her some money because I still owe her, technically. Because she's paying it off for me. But no interest. So now we have to figure out how we're going to pay the taxes. Because now... It's not included in the mortgage payment. So I don't know how we're going to do that. And the internet bill and the gas and hydro bill. We got to split. This time she's splitting it. The last time she lived with me, she never did. This time it's going to happen because I'm not paying for everything. So, I'm kind of sad that my niece Chantelle is moving out of, 
gosh, not moving that far out of town, but it's still far enough. You gotta drive. You like you can't like just walk to her house. Like you have to drive there, which is kind of sad. Oh, and I'm mad at my daughter if she watches this whipping chat. That she came to Strathroy the other day, and she went over to my niece's house before she came to visit her own mother. Yep. She came here last. I went to go see Telly first. Yeah. Just putting it out there, Sarah Bear. Mommy misses you. Maybe you can come down this weekend and visit me because it's my weekend off. We can maybe diamond paint. I know you're doing your owl. And yes, Chantel, I will remember to get that custom for you, Avopa. I will do that today when I go there. I could probably send it to her right now, but I'm busy doing a whole lot of nothing but diamond painting because that's what I like to do. What is this? Do you think I have a pair of tweezers on this table? Well, if you saw my table right now, it's a mess. I don't like my daughter complains. Yeah, that's not right. My daughter complains every day about the coffee table. I really got to find that clip for the... Right now, Elizabeth's sitting out on that dra drafting table that my sister got that's missing the pin. Really need to figure out how to fix that. So I can take the diamond painting away from the coffee table. I guess I could do it on the kitchen table, but I don't find the kitchen table chairs very comfortable. Not that sitting on the floor to film is any more comfortable <laughs> because my stand is too, is too uh, short to lift the table up so I can sit like I usually do when I diamond paint which is on the couch. So, I wonder what time it is. I got to, uh, my dogs are being super quiet. Isn't that nice? Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to say before I stop this. So. I decided, oh, I'm going to do a kit up when I got these containers or whatever. And I thought, oh, I'm going to kit up this project. But then I'm thinking, well, I can't really show the picture too much. Like, I know you can see the dog right now, but I don't really care. And uh, I'm like, oh, this is too hard to try to do a kit up on this one. So I'll do a kit up with some other project that I do. I do have containers coming in if they ever come. And I have frames coming in if they ever come from China. I've only been waiting for, well, the containers, no, not so much. The containers are still on a reasonable time frame. But these, you know the frames you get that you can clip together? Yeah, I have them on order on AliExpress. I can't check right now because it's on my phone. Sorry about that. It stopped recording when my son called. Great. Now I gotta edit. Oh, I'm gonna kick his butt. Now I gotta edit because I didn't realize it shut it off. And here I was gabbing and it shut off. I should have just let it ring through and then maybe it wouldn't have shut off, but I declined the call, which maybe 
that caused the issue. So darn it, I'm so upset now that that happened. I don't know how much it taped or what after he called, but that's the thing, like how do you, when you record with your phone, how do you stop the calls from coming in? You can't really, usually nobody calls me. Like I have a cell phone and I'm like, why do I pay for this cell phone? Like nobody calls me or nobody texts me. But like when I want to do something, that's when everybody calls and texts me. Isn't that how it usually goes? It's like, why do I have a phone if nobody... Yeah, and then I complain about that. And then when I don't want people to call me, that's when they all call. To jibber jabber about nothing. Because I know, half the time, he doesn't even talk to me. Half the time he's like walking and gallivanting and talking to like people in stores. Like he goes to the variety store, he goes to Tim Hortons. He talks to me while he's on the phone, Tim Hortons. I know every I know exactly what he gets every morning from Tim Hortons. Like and he talks to the people at the I'm like, you talk to too many, like you're too friendly to everybody. Like he just talks to everybody. He even takes me into with him to the weed store. Cause you know in Canada it is illegal to smoke marijuana. And I know my son smokes marijuana. He's 26 years old. I can't really say anything about it. It's his life. But yeah, sometimes he'll even bring me on the phone with him to the weed store, which is kind of cool too. Like he's just <laughs> sent me a picture. No, he told me he was at a weed store and he's like, oh, there's a vending machine. I'm like, what? A vending machine? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, send me a picture of this vending machine. So there's actually a vending machine that you can get weed out of. Of course, it's in the weed store, but still, that's pretty freaking cool. I think anyway, but you know. Everybody's on the hype about smoking kills you, this and that, and vaping. Oh, I don't even want to get on that subject. You don't even want to get me started on vaping. To me, vaping is 95% safer than smoking cigarettes. It is proven by doctors in England that it is 95% safer than smoking a cigarette. Anyway. Because the government can't make money off of vaping and they're losing money on tobacco, that is why they started selling marijuana. I am totally convinced that they need to make a profit on something. So why not weed? That's my theory. And I'm gonna wrap it up because now he decided to cut the front lawn again, or I don't know who's cutting the front lawn, but somebody out there is cutting the front lawn. And I hope you made it through to the end of this whipping chat. If you did, God bless you for sticking it out with me. And hopefully I can edit that section where Tyler messed up the phone. Hopefully I can get it all. I was like almost at an hour when he did that. Um, hopefully I've taped enough now to get me through to make it an hour. Um, if I do not, it's all Tyler's fault. Let's just blame it on Tyler. He'll, he'll comment, oh, blame it on me. If he even listens to it all the way through. I don't know how much he's listened to my whipping chats, but I know my daughter and my niece Chantel have, and I appreciate every time they listen to me. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna wrap it up right now. This is Lizzie Vapes. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like, 
please subscribe to my channel. I'd be super tickled pink. And till next time, a little dabble do ya. Thank you.